In the last video we went over how to import and export DFF models using Goldfish's edition of CAM scripts. We did not cover how to embed 2DFX data in DFF models. 2DFX is short for two-dimensional effects. GTA San Andreas uses 2DFX for lights, markers, and various effects such as blood, water splashes, explosions, and more. These effects are also known as sprites and billboards. In order to locate the 2DFX interface, open Goldfish's DFFIO. Currently the script only supports light effects. Click light. Because the 2DFX lights interface has a lot of options, not all of them will be covered in this video. Presets. If you load a preset it will change parameters in the settings below. For now we'll leave it default. Set to selected lights. This is important whenever you want to apply the changes you have made to your selected Omni lights. Get. Use this to get an existing Omni lights 2DFX information. This is useful if importing a DFF model that already has 2DFX and you want to copy its settings. Color. This is the diffuse color of the 2DFX. Corona size. This is a uniform size of the 2DFX in square meters. Set low values for light bulbs and high values for tower roof lights. Draw distance. This is how far away the 2DFX is shown from the camera. If the 2DFX is inside a model, for example a house, it may be ideal to keep the draw distance low. This is because only 32 coronas can be visible at a time, and their alpha blending may reduce performance. Light range. This is the distance of which the light reflects onto vehicles and skin models. When a vehicle is near a street light, the light will reflect onto the vehicle and thus light up the vehicle. The light range determines how far away the light is able to reach the vehicle. Corona name. Typically you set it as Corona star if you are working with lights. However you do have a variety of options to choose from. Some options may not render in game. Show mode. This is useful if a broken light bulb effect is desired, or perhaps to speed up its animation. An example of speeding up a light is making a blinking light flash at lower intervals. Corona reflection. This creates a sun glare effect usually seen when a camera sensor points into the sun. It appears as a streak of light. Shadow size. This setting determines the size of the light's shadow. The shadow is a circular projected texture which appears below the 2D effects. Shadow multiplier. This determines the intensity of the shadow. Shadow name. This changes the texture used to draw the 2D effect shadow. Set flags 1 and 2. These options allow you to define certain behavioral properties of the 2D effects. View vector. This setting is for advanced users and may break the 2D effects if set incorrectly. To reiterate after making any changes in the 2D effects window. It is important to select your light and click set to selected lights or else the changes will not apply.